is Stacy Hagenbotham, and I'm here with Wade Vinson, who is known as the Pod Father, which is the father of HP's Pod Data Centers, Transportable Containerized Data Centers. Hi, Wade. Hi, how are you? Great. Do you mind telling us why HP built this and what we're looking at here? Yeah. So when, when we talk to customers about the problems that they have in data centers, they're running out of space, they're running out of power, they're running out of cooling, and they want to spend less money on the infrastructure, um, they want to spend less money on the power, and we know we have products that are optimized around that space, and we said, how can we go take those products and put them into an infrastructure that allows them to put all those benefits together using HP technology? And so what you have is the pod, the performance optimized data center. So what you're looking at here, it looks like a regular data center to a customer in that I have a big 36 inch cold aisle so that I can service all my equipment. We have a, uh, a, a hot aisle and then all of the heat generated by the servers is pulled through the heat exchangers overhead and then back down here. So if you think of a traditional data center with a, with a raised floor cold aisle, just kind of turn it on its head here and you get the concept. Um, but what it allows is we have 50 U racks so that with the dense blades, we can put up to 160 servers in a single rack or up to 3,500 servers, uh, server nodes in, in the pod. What you're looking at in this one is, a, is a, uh, a, a, a dense server compute that we designed specifically for a customer that gets us 96 servers per rack. Uh, and that way we can get over 2,000 nodes in a container for this type of application. The technology that we're using, we have our modular cooling system, our liquid cool racks. We took the blowers, you can see there's a blower tray hanging down on the end there so that the blowers are serviceable. So if a blower needed to be repaired, you just unscrew it, close it up, put it back in. The heat exchangers are serviceable. One of the cool things about the heat exchangers is because we're closely coupled, we can actually use 65 degree. That's pretty warm water, and the facility doesn't have to use a chiller at all. Whereas normally they use 45 degree, really cold water. So imagine the energy savings if you could go home and turn down your thermostat. Instead of making it 45 degrees, you could make it 65 degrees. And by closely coupled, you're saying they're next to each other. They're next to each other, thank you. So in a data center, the computer and air conditioners can be as far as 40 feet away. So these, so the equivalent in that would have to push really hard. You can imagine the energy it takes to push all that air around. And then because they're not closely coupled in a data center, some of the hot air from the back of the servers could pull around the front. So in order to prevent that, they have to push even colder air. Here we put it all together and we're seeing 50% increase in efficiency versus traditional data center deployments. Awesome, well thank you Wade. Thank you.